Hi, Andrea again with Beats by Britain. So, you have a Mac and you record music on it using either GarageBand or Logic. If you've been using either of those for any length of time, you've noticed the drummer track. What is it and what makes it so special? I'm going to show you, we're going to assume we don't know anything about the drummer track, so you're a, a utter beginner. I'm going to show you in GarageBand because once you learn the drummer track in GarageBand, it's a cinch to take it and fly with it in Logic. GarageBand is free. Everybody who has a Mac has GarageBand. If you don't, you can download it for free from the App Store. It's also available for iPhone and iPads. Um, and I strongly encourage you, if you're new to uh, digital audio workstations and you want to learn Logic, I strongly encourage you to learn GarageBand first because it's um, a stepping stone. So we're going to open GarageBand here. All right, this is a project that I've already created. I'm going to pretend like we don't already have something here. All right, so we're going to delete that. All right, um, when you open GarageBand, it's going to ask you to choose a track type, and we're going to select Drummer and click on Create. It's going to fill in. It's going to fill in a region, unlike uh, Logic Pro that takes you th that takes that gives you a few extra steps first. In GarageBand, when you open a drummer track, it automatically fills in um, um, your uh, a drum kit, a drummer, um, a drum kit, and that's pretty much it. And that's what it sounds like when it's playing. Alright, so what we're looking at here is the drummer, it's a drummer region at the top here. Over on the left is your library. It's your drummer library and your sounds library. Okay, so when I talk about the library, I'm talking about this over here on the left. Down at the bottom is your drummer editor, where you can select different beat presets and different kit pieces. No, you cannot select all of the kit pieces. Um, that's one limitation to GarageBand, um, or to Drummer in GarageBand, but you can select different kit pieces. So let's say we want uh, snare, kick, and uh, hi-hat. Okay, we can do that. You can select the um, level of complexity that you want. Let's just leave it on two for right now. And um, on kick and snare, I'm going to let this play. On kick and snare, you would click on follow if there was a track that you wanted it to follow. We don't have another track there, but you can you can uh, have the kick and snare follow any other track that you've got in the project. Okay. All right. And we can select different beat presets. You cannot create your own beat presets in GarageBand, but you can select different beat presets that you like or just move the puck to select different things. All right. All right, I'm going to pause this for a minute. Um there's no um there's no mixer view in GarageBand, but in addition to the drummer editor down here where you can select your beat presets and the kit pieces that it's going to play, you can adjust the fills percentage so you can dial up the fills if you want. Dial up the swing if you want, like that. All right. So this is the drummer editor that we're looking at here. We want to look at smart controls. Like I said, there's no mixer window in GarageBand, but you can mix in GarageBand. So you're going to look at the mixer window. You're going to hit B to open your smart controls. Okay? <laughs> Remember that because we use that a lot in Logic too. So we open our smart controls in GarageBand. This is where you can have a little bit of control over the plugins that you use. Not much, but a little bit. All right. And this is where you would mix your uh, your kick, your, your different kick pieces, turn them up, turn them down, turn the snare up, down, so and so forth and so on. That's where you do your mixing. 
All right. Okay, over here on the left in the smart controls, this is where your plugins are. And yes, there are some plugins in GarageBand that will affect the drummer. Not very many, but some. So, by default, when you add a drummer track in GarageBand and in Logic as well, it's going to use a plugin called Drum Kit Designer. That is, this is Drum Kit Designer. You cannot open it in GarageBand. You can in Logic, um, but in, uh, in GarageBand, you cannot open Drum Kit Designer. You can, however, use other drum software. So if you're trying to learn to use the drummer track and you have things like Easy Drummer or Superior Drummer or BFD or any Stephen Slate drums, I actually am not sure about Stephen Slate drums, but I do know that BFD drums works here and so does Superior Drummer and Easy Drummer too. So if you have them installed on your computer, you can use them in GarageBand. You have to have your smart controls open, just like you do here. All right. You have one plug-in slot available for um, software. All the rest of these are um, audio effects. All right. So we don't want, let's say, for example, we don't want Drum Kit Designer. We would click on the arrow keys, click on your AU instruments, and go over here and select any of your uh, other plugins that you want to use. I'm not going to do that for now, but I'm just showing you that, that any other uh, drum plugins that you have installed, um, you can use on, in the drummer track in GarageBand. Right? But I'm going to leave this alone because I want to leave, uh, I want to use Drum Kit Designer. Uh, here are your audio effects. You can uh, open your EQ and apply EQ if you want. Compressor, you can turn the compressor on. And uh, make some minor adjustments. You can't do a whole lot with it, but you can do some. All right. Quick distortion, probably don't need. I can turn that off. I can limit it. I can turn that off too. All right, so there is some, um, some limited editing that you can do in the drummer track in GarageBand. Again, this is just an introduction to the drummer track. Right. Um, the next most important thing is, and yes, I realize the clip is still playing. I want it to play. We have to check our time signature. All right, I'm going to turn this off for now. Because the drummer track in GarageBand or Logic uses the time signature and the tempo. Um, so I've got an interesting time signature here. I work a lot in odd time signatures. Um, what you do is you click on the time signature. That's your 12 eighths time signature. That means there's 12 beats per measure, and every eighth note gets one beat. That's music theory. All right, I can click on that, and these are time signatures that I've created in other projects. Um, your standard time signatures are going to be uh, 2 2, 3 fourths, or 4 fourths. So let's pick 4 fourths time signature, and notice how drummer changes. playing in a different time signature. All right. Three fourths. Those are, that's a time signature common in waltzes. Play that and see how it's playing differently. That's because drummer adapts automatically to the new time signature. And we're going to change the tempo too. We're going to make it like mm, something crazy slow like 70. All right. And go back to my 12 eighths time signature and play it again and see how different it sounds because it's adapting to the new tempo and the time signature. So, most important thing when you're learning to use drummer is, in my opinion, the most important thing that you need to learn right away when you're learning to use drummer is know what your time signature is and your tempo because that's going to make or break your project. Um, 
I very often will, I know a lot about music theory. This is basic music theory, and I'm not really going to cover it, but um, in this tutorial. But what I will do is if I can't get drummer to play exactly um, the way I want it to, a lot of times I'll just mess with the, with the tempo. And that's very, very, very important to know. So if, you're, if your project is written in four-fourths um, with some swing and you're, you're not really liking the way it sounds, um, quite, quite often just a simple change in the time signature will help that. Uh, a good example is if you're working in waltz rhythm, which is three-fourths, three-quarters time. That means there's three beats per measure and every quarter note gets a beat. Well, if you're listening to it and you don't quite like what you hear, I mean, as far as it's not, you think it's not playing quite right, you can change that to six eighths. It's the same uh, kind of, a, it's the same rhythm. It's uh, six beats per measure and every eighth note gets a beat. And sometimes you'll get more pleasing results that way, just by playing with the time signature a little bit. So know your time signatures. Know your tempo. All right? And then you can have a lot of fun with drummer. And this just goes to show you the, the basic uh, types of editing that you can do with a drummer track in GarageBand. I would very strongly, again, recommend that you learn GarageBand first. If you're new to digital audio workstations and you like drummer and you want to have a lot of fun with it, learn how to use it in GarageBand first. Um, because then, like I said, you can take it in Logic and just kind of fly with it. So that's the end of my introduction to, uh, to Drummer. Um, one more thing over here on the left in the library. Um, you, you'll hear, when we talk about Drummer in uh, Logic, you'll hear us talking about producer kits. Um, you cannot create producer kits in GarageBand. You are limited to these, the kits that you have. You're limited to the stock kits, and you also can use other kits that you've already created. So if you have a version of Logic um, and you've created kits on it, you can use those kits. They'll show up here under uh, User Patches. You can select those, and Drummer will play them in, um, in GarageBand. But I'm going to assume that you don't already have kits created because you're new to this. So by default, when you open GarageBand and select the, uh, the drummer track, you're going to see drum kit and electronic drum kit here. And that's all you're going to see. So you can select from, these are acoustic drum kits. You can select from the acoustic drum kits, or you can select from 808, like ele electronic drum kits like your 808s. All right. But I'm going to go back to um, Neo Soul, what I had before. Okay. And uh, that's the end. That's uh, Introduction to Drummer. As you see it in GarageBand, once you learn it in GarageBand, you can move on to Logic.